right? I'm on the play. Hmm. All right, I think we can keep this. Let's start off with a smoldering marsh. Red mana from our opponent. So I think I can play double apprentices here and then turn three. We can make our forerunner of slaughter attack with haste. Ideally, we would have something like a smuggler sculptor that our opponent is playing right now, but since this won't be the case. All right, we got ourselves a Liliana. I don't think I want to play her out right now if he has something to crew it with. So, Forerunner of Slaughter. And haste is going to be our strategy for now. Let's go ahead and attack. Get in for five. We we'll probably have to take out the smuggler sculptor with the build to smash. All right, collective defiance. Three mana means it's only going to take care of the full run of slaughter. That's not too bad for us. So we've got four mana. We can hit for the maximum amount here. Or we can hit for 5 this turn and save 1 build to smash to deal with the copter. Yeah, I think I'm going to save 1 in our hand. Let's go ahead and attack. Since our opponent is tapped out, just going to deal 5 damage. Leave free mana so that he might think that I have something like an unlicensed disintegration. All right, scrap your scrounger and selfless spirit. So that means he can protect his smuggler sculptor. He's also not going to attack. So we've got Shock. Build to Smash. This is 5 additional damage. Still not going to be quite enough. If we play out Liana this turn and... Hmm... We can play out Liliana and get one of our creature cards from the graveyard. I think I really do need the creatures. But then we can force him to abandon his selfless spirit. I also think this is not going to be too bad. He is going to crew the uh, smuggler sculptor with this. But we do have to get through the selfless spirit anyway. And I want to keep shock to deal with our opponent. So no, of course, I'm not going to attack into this. Let's see if he has something like a veteran motorist. Then it will have four power. And then it will be able to deal with Liliana. Might also have 
a black source of mana and unlicensed disintegration, which can also deal direct damage. Anyway, his scrap, he, scrap heap scrounger cannot block, right, at the hub. Let's see what else is there. Alright, it's going to be a um, Sky Sovereign, which means that he has quite a lot of creatures that he can use to... Let's see what we can do. If we use Shock right now, he cannot bring it back. Yeah, but this is not going to be enough damage anyway. Alright. Not going to do anything right now. Let's see what we're going to top deck. Well, having too many Inventor's Apprentices is definitely not that much of a help. So we can minus to Liliana to see what we can get. Yeah. Let's get the full run of Slaughter. There was another build to smash. So we can attack with a forerunner and we can buff him with build to smash. He's probably going to block with one of his vehicles. But anyway, we have to continue the attack. Let's see what he's going to crew. If he's going to crew the Sky Sovereign, I'm going to use build to smash on the Forerunner. Which means at least I will live for a while longer. Right, uses the smuggler's copter. We'll take out Liliana here. Let's see if I will get something like a lucky vehicle top deck. This card's a planes, which means he probably has some good creatures there. Let's see what he is going to cast. It's going to be a displacer. So can displace some of the creatures and spells. Alright, we can play out the harvester. I think I'm going to be fine just by attacking. If he does block, I'm going to use Shock to get rid of the Eldrazi Displacer. Let's see if he blocks. He does. So he can displace himself. Hmm. Yeah, probably didn't think this through properly. All right, it's fine. All right, he's still going to use the draw the displacer. Since he doesn't have any mass removal, I'm just going to cast out another inventor's apprentice. So even though we made a mistake, he made a very interesting play there. Do I want to block the smuggler sculptor? Mm. 
If I did do so, he would use the Eldraza Displacer. Well, he's going to use it right now anyway. He does have only one colorless source of mana. So let's go ahead and attack. Alright, he's going to displace the Edosphere Harvester. And we're going to use Shock on the Displacer. This way we will take it out of the equation. Harness Lightning, all right. We have no creatures. And we've even gotten rid of, of a smuggle sculptor with our Liliana. So now let's see if we'll get any more. So we're going to get hit for 7. And we have to hope for a creature next. Alright, no such luck. Which means this might already be the last steps in this game. If we don't get any more creatures, we are going to be finished. He's going to get the Heart of Kirin. Attacks for 7. Alright, we have a Wild Fast Engineer. So we can get back 5 life, he can hit us for 7, maybe more. Anyway, we do have to attack. Since we cannot grant the Edosphere Harvester lifelink and additional damage. So we'll leave our opponent at 4, but of course, considering the fact that he has 3 cards in his hand, I do think there is a high probability that he will have something to crew the Copter, and this will be enough to seal the deal. Alright, gets back to Scrappy Scrounger, and this is going to be enough for us, unfortunately, we don't have any Scrappy Scroungers. All right, game one has been lost. All right, in game two versus Jolly. He is going to be on the play. Three creatures, unlicensed integration. I think we can keep this hand.
starts off with an evolving wilds, pulls out a planes, this is fine. So let's go for a smoldering marsh. We don't have any one converted mana cost creatures at the moment. Let's see what he's going to pull. It's going to be a copter. Wow, <laughs> two games in a row. Copter in the opening hand. This has got to be good. So, I think this turn we can just attack with two. And next turn, depending on what we're going to top deck, we're either going to just analyze this integration anyway, or cast out an artifact, we'll see. Alright, PN Alarm. Cruise the Copter. Attacks and shuffles through the library. Gets in for three. So let's see. Yeah, I think we have to get rid of it. I'm not going to attack into the Thopter. Just going to wait. We need our vehicles urgently. All right, P and Kieran Nala. Well, it's going to be quite difficult to push into this wall of creatures. So, do we trade? Yeah, I think we do. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I think that a world fast engineer is a fine card to play. I just hope he doesn't have a fleet with um, the Sky Sovereign and another source of mana. Instead he has Harness Lightning, alright. Nothing much I can do about such draws. Gets in for 5, we're down to 11. Alright. We can take take out his P and Kirin Nalar that he can use to deal additional damage. Or we can save it for something bigger. Problem is I'm not sure if I'm going to survive for that long. So I might go for an Aslan Visitor and an unlicensed disintegration this turn. Because his his topters are flyers, so having more of a bad fast engineer is not going to help much. With an artifact and play, it could have been six damage, which would even out the game a little. But I'm afraid it's going to be quite difficult to deal with him anyhow at this stage. Just enough removal, just enough vehicles, creatures. All right. Three world fast engineers. Not gonna help much. Let's go ahead and attack. Build to smash. Get in for six. 
cast out an engineer. Well, if he still had P and Kieran Nala, would probably be dead this turn. Since essentially he could attack, he could have attacked for three, then sacrificed one of his top tests for additional two damage. Alright, we got more mountains. This is definitely not going to help our cause a lot. Let's see if he's going to block. He isn't. Alright. Sacrifices the Wolling Wilds. Gets out a mountain. So... I think I want to play out this mountain so that I will draw an additional card. Because we are quite close to defeat anyway. Since he has a lot of chump blockers, now he can produce even two more chump blockers. Probably has something else that generates tokens, like another PNK Kiran Nala. Right, has a Chandra. Alright. Is he going to wipe the board? Fair enough, he is. Well, <laughs> this is good game. Too much mana can be bad for you, even if you have 22 lands in your deck. Uh, 